Hey Kipsters, it's Mr. Frederick. Uh, this is math video number one. So we're gonna do some math together today um, and we'll post one of these videos every day so that as you're at home from school, um, you can keep growing your brain with math and keep reviewing some of the things that we learned before school was out. Um, we miss you, hope you work hard today. So in this video, we're gonna do math routines with a PowerPoint just like we would do in class. And after each problem, I'll pause a little bit so that you can answer it on your own. And then I'll answer it myself so that you can see how you were doing. And then after we're done with that, then we're gonna do a problem of the day. Here we go. So here's our math routines. There's your first problem, eight times nine. That's 72. Seven times five. That's 35. What number times six is equal to 30? You could roll your sixes until you get to 30 to find your answer. That's five. Four times what number is 36? That's nine. 63 divided by seven is what? That's nine. 24 divided by eight. That answers three. 32 divided by what number is equal to eight? Again, you could roll your eights until you get to 32. That's four. What number divided by seven equals three? That's 21. So here's a problem about area. It says, what is the area of the shape below? And this side is five centimeters. This side is seven centimeters. What is the area of that rectangle? So just like we practiced in class, you should have gone five centimeters times seven centimeters. So our area is 35 centimeters squared. Here's a number bond problem. So 21 and what number is equal to 40? That's 19. Another number bond problem, 31 and what number is equal to 50? That's 19 again. And here's our last problem today for our math routines. It says, what time is 15 minutes before the time that is shown? So the first thing you should ask yourself is what time is it currently shown on the clock? You'll notice that the hour hand is a little bit past the 10, and the minute hand is on the two. So the time that's currently shown on the clock is 10, five, 10, so it's 10, 10. But my problem asks me, what is 15 minutes before that time that's shown? So I have to go back five, 10, 15 minutes before 10, 10. That's kind of tricky. So if I'm at 10, 10 and I go back five minutes, I'm at 10, 05. If I go back another five minutes, I'm at 10 o'clock. And if I go back another five minutes for 15 minutes, like the problem said, now I'm at 9.55. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna close that PowerPoint. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a problem of the day to review something that we've worked on in class. So here's your problem. You should have um, a pencil uh, and some paper ready or a marker and some paper so that you can do your work along with me as we go. So here's our problem today. I've got it written up here on this marker board. Um, and this problem, the cool thing about math is that you have math all around you at home, even if you're not in school. So this problem is about blocks. And my daughter loves to play with these and sometimes I'll play with um, with her as, as we're using these, we make towers all the time. So this problem is about towers with the blocks. 
Here it goes. It says, Mr. Frederick made four towers of blocks. Each tower had eight blocks in it. How many total blocks did he use? I'm going to read it one more time. It says, Mr. Frederick made four towers of blocks. Each tower had eight blocks in it. How many total blocks did he use? Now, feel free to pause the video right here while you do your work, and then we're going to go through the problem together. All right, let's solve this together. So I noticed the problem said that I had four towers of blocks. That's the first important thing that I notice. And then it said in each tower, there were eight blocks. So if I was going to draw this problem, I would draw it, I'm just gonna make little dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each of those dots is like a block here in this problem. There's eight of them. And then I'm gonna put a circle around those because that's one tower. Now it says I have four of those, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw out all four, and you can go ahead and do this on your paper as well. Make sure you have eight in each tower. There's two, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's three towers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's four towers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure I counted carefully on that one. Okay, so now we have our four towers, and in each of those towers, I just drew eight dots to represent the blocks. And now, I'm gonna write this as a multiplication problem to solve. So I know I have four towers, and in each of those towers, I had eight blocks. So I'm gonna write this problem as four times eight, or four groups, with eight in each group. And if I roll my numbers, I know that four times eight is equal to 32. And the problem asked me how many total blocks did I use, so I'm gonna say 32 blocks. And there's my answer. All right, hope you had fun doing math today. Um, we'll post another video for tomorrow. Um, keep growing your brains. Reach out to your teachers if you need anything. We miss you guys. Bye-bye.